Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I'm really excited to bring you these adorable little cutting die sets from our friends at Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, there is a polar bear, an igloo, a penguin, a moose, little Jack Frost snowman, and a reindeer. And my friend Debbie made the most beautiful cards. She showed me some great tips and I can't wait to show you. So come play with us. So look at this adorable little polar bear in igloo card that my friend Debbie made. It's so cute. This of course is a slimline card. So it's eight and a half by three and a half inches wide. Um, she used the igloo and the polar bear. Um, wow, what can I say? It is so cute. Let's start off with what she used to cover the base of her card, which was, whoops, it's upside down, Snowfall paper pack in 12 by 12 side from Hot Off the Press. Such a beautiful paper with that two-tone color and the snow. And then she actually die cut the igloo. Let me show you the pieces here. From white cardstock and silver linen cardstock which just is gorgeous. And then her cute little polar bear guy, she cut that out of white cardstock as well, but then she showed me that all these great little colors with the greens and the blues, whoops, um, those were from a nesting place cardstock, which is such a great array of colors here. This is one to have in your little uh, supplies for sure. Um, so she did that, and then of course, for her little sign, she did a little inking, and she used, on the little paws here, just to give it a little shading, she used some metallic, silver metallic ink. And of course, using some blender brushes is really handy when working with this type of dies. So we have two sizes at Paper Wishes. We have the set of three, and then we have a set of four, which is fantastic to have because they have they go down to just really teeny tiny as well. So this is perfect for doing those little bitty pieces. So anyway, this went together very nicely. She's got her Dazzle stickers right here. And I'm gonna show you those a little bit later. They come in a great collection. So really fun card to do. Now, the next one, she used the snowman, which is called Jack Frost. And a little tip she wanted me to pass on is that this one has, it's so colorful and look at the window. This is a six by six card also available at Paper Wishes. And what's great is it comes with the matching envelope as does the slimline, so you don't have to source that yourself. So um, on this one she used, let me see, this snowfall in the six by six size. And she just cut it down just a little bit to like five and three quarters of an inch to fit there. And then, she, because this fits a six inch wide platform like your uh, Big Shot die cutting machine, she was able to cut a window in the front of her card using um, one of these circles right here from the 12 circle and scallops. So before she covered her card, um, she went ahead and, oops, I have some here. Woo, okay. All right. So what she did was she went ahead and she cut her card with the circle in it, put it right through. And I had a little tip to also go ahead and put another piece of white cardstock on the inside there and just do a little bit of shimming so it'll cover, cut both pieces and then they're gonna align perfectly because on the inside of the card, she put this nice little mat right there to cover up some of her paste up things. So, um, Go ahead and you do that part and then you cut down your paper here to five and three quarters of an inch. You do the scallop, okay? And then she cut a larger circle of the snowfall acetate. All right, so now you can do one of two things. You can glue your acetate in the back here, okay? And then you've got this nice little cover so that you have a nice inside piece, okay? Or, if you wanna avoid this piece, you can glue it on the front and then glue this one right there. It just kinda of depends on how much acetate you wanna see on the outside. All right, so that's how you make that little card, so cute. Oh, and then also, since you've already cut this part out from your window, Debbie just glued that right on the inside. Just an added little 
color for the back of her card. Now, here's the thing that Debbie showed me, is that you have all of these pieces that you die cut and all this color, but a little trick would be to just cut it from black cardstock for the hat and the buttons and whatnot, and then color cut everything else from white cardstock, and then you're just gonna take your pens and you're gonna color the stuff so that you don't have to, you know, cut purple mittens and a blue scarf and an orange nose. That's a lot of different changes to go through and color changes and putting it through your die cutting machine. So that's just a little time saver. So this is how they go. I wanted to show you the, I don't know if we can see this. We can zoom in on this, Steve. This little image is the head and it's already got the embossed face on it. Let's see if I can show you. Oh, that's gonna be blurry. There it is. There's a little embossed face on there. Isn't that cute? So that when you're taking your little eyes and things like that from your black cardstock, then it's so simple to just place them in just the right places, okay? So you're not having to figure out the face on your own, which I think is a really nice little detail. All right, so we're gonna take all of our little pieces here, and of course we're gluing here and here, and then we've got our little scarf. So Debbie used, these are Spectrum Noir pens, and if you're not familiar with these, these are wonderful. They are three markers in one. So you've got, like this one has a dark blue. Very, very navy. Okay, a medium blue. It's got a little bit more royal color in it. And then the light blue. And when you do that, it gives this really nice ombre effect, which is perfect for blending. So what Debbie did was she took the lightest shade, and I'm not gonna color the whole thing, but of course she went ahead and she did the scarf. Well, why don't I go ahead and do the whole thing? Just gonna take a second. All right, so she colored her scarf blue with the lightest shade. And then I find it's best to just give that a little bit of a rest and then color something else. So we're gonna color a mitten, and that's because we don't want our colors to blend together so much. So I'm gonna take this one, and she used purple. How cute is that? And we're just gonna start off with mm, the medium shade. And we're gonna color the bottom part, and then we're gonna work our way up with the light. That's gonna do that blending. Nice little color change there. And then we've got the little cuff that goes right on here. And we're gonna color that with blue. And really, I think if you just sort of colored all your blue pieces at the same time and then colored your little cuff pieces, all your blues and all your purples, it would go very, very quick. Not do all this changing out that I'm doing. Look at that cute little cuff. So cute. All right, and then, what I forgot to do, I forgot to die cut my arms. My arms right here, those little twigs out of white, and then color those with earth brown, okay? And of course the little nose with orange. And then you're just gonna be able to assemble all of these things together. Now, which I love about this little hat, it's got this little slit on it, so you can just put it just like this, and it's just a little fitting right down on top of that. It's so cute. Now before you glue your pieces together, Debbie recommends using a little bit of the metallic silver ink. If you can see right here along the edges, she just did a little bit of inking there. And that's just to give your snow person, along the feet as well, just a little bit of shading. So it's not quite so stark white. Yeah, just a little bit there. So fantastic card. They also added some jewels to this card, and this is new for us. This is the jewel mix. There's uh, their little oh rhinestone embellishments, really, and she used this great collection. I can open this. I haven't opened it before. Okay, good. Whew. Use this little blue collection, and look, they're in individual little containers. 
that are reusable. How sweet is that? I love those. Anyway, she glued those sort of randomly among all of the little snowflakes, which is so cute. So now you just got this, oh, and also on his little hat band. Really, really cute card. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. She made so many cute cards, you guys. For the next one, we wanted to show you an alternative to cutting them out of solid cardstock is to use a patterned cardstock for your background. For, for this one, she used a little bit of a, oh, it's kind of a tapestry color in sort of a nice, um, kind of a tan, maybe a, an ecru color. So what she did with this is for her base, she started out with these brand new glitter cards that are fantastic from Hot Off the Press. You get 10 cards in a pack, aren't they gorgeous? And that was her base. And then she took the six by six poinsettia cardstock, patterned cardstock, and she used this one right here. Beautiful. And then she used some glitter thin line dazzle stickers that are just beautiful. There's these wonderful little borders that went down the edge here. Okay, and where are my greeting dazzles? Hello, greeting dazzles. Here they are. All right, so in this collection, these are the Christmas greeting dazzles. You get the slim line ones, which she used here, and there's little like ornaments and stars and things like that. And then on um, the other card, I think it was the little polar bear card, we use these. These are tiny Christmas tiny words and phrases. So really, really cute little sentiments there. You get them in a big collection like this. She also used some oval dies. Mine have kind of gotten out of hand here. Um, that she cut. And then look at the little brown details here and the little dazzle stickers, which are so adorable. Let's check these out. These are the little um, oh, actually, no, that's from another card, Lene. <laughs> what she used here is some gold sparkle holographic paper. Ooh! And she used that for her little details right here. And then, of course, a little bit of red glitter cardstock for the red nose, because you got to make them into a little Rudolph. That, and these come four sheets to a pack, right, and half by 11. Very, very cute card. I love that. All right, now this last one is also another six by six card and also using pattern paper. And this one's a little more bold. So cute. They're just so whimsical. I love that. She's got 12 by 12 um, joyful, this is six by six rather, joyful Christmas pattern cardstock. This is brand new, these wonderful backgrounds for Christmas that we have. She used that for her tan background here and then cut this other tan and black for the little um, reindeer, I mean, excuse me, rather the moose and the penguin. So cute, and I should show you the back of those as well. And then on the moose, we've got this wonderful tan suede paper. If you're not familiar with suede paper, it's got a texture to it. It's actual fabric that is backed by paper. So it die cuts beautifully. And then she used those same little tiny words and phrases, um, meet me under the mistletoe, and then added some of these great snowflake dazzle stickers. They come in this huge collection, all different kinds of colors and finishes, and she used this one on there, so cute. So you guys, we have got a great money saver on these dies. As you can see, super versatile for Christmas and for winter. So if you are watching us on our Paper Wishes webisode page, just look over there to the right side and you'll see the money saver. Um, definitely take a look at that. And if you're looking to buy them individually, look down below our video. You'll see the products used and you can add those to your cart. And if you're watching us on YouTube, we haven't forgot about you. Look below the video in the description box and you'll see a link that'll take you to our Paper Wishes webisode page. 
you'll see everything I just mentioned. And you guys, if you like this video, give us a like. It helps people find us. Give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because we do four to five of these videos a week. We wouldn't want you to miss anything. Uh, make sure you check off that notifications bell so you'll always know when we drop new videos. Thanks for joining us today and I'll see you next time.